Welcome back to another episode of Reviewing Your Cars. This time we're not outside, we're inside, and we're yeah. taking a peek at our gallery, the cars you guys have submitted. And if you want your car in the gallery, so maybe you can get on an episode of this or help another car enthusiast find their fitment, make sure to add it over at fitministries.com forward slash and get it in there because I want to see your beautiful ride, all right? I love them all. Well, maybe not all of them. No. Anyways. <laughs> Wheel Service is much fitministries.com. Giles, before we get into this though, oh God, you make me do you're this. a huge rotary guy now, right? Oh, yeah. Like Big you're all guy. about yeah. triangles. <laughs> yeah. Do your best rotary impression before we get into this. Okay. This is mine right now because for some reason it's just dumping a ton of fluid into yeah. it. So it's yeah. like when I go to like go from a stop to a start, it's like and then you forgot the fire. <laughs> yeah, it's just shooting massive fireballs right now too. I don't think that's great. I, I don't know. So let's hop into the first car. It looks like we have a 2013 Mazda Mazda Speed 3. Mazda, Mazda, Mazda. And we are on some odd Honda DSO 3s, 18 by 9 plus 22. So a bit of aggressive offset there. Uh, Continental Extreme Contact DWS 06, 225, 40 all around. Okay. And on airlift performance, air suspension. I even got the lanyard on right now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where'd you see? get that? They gave it to me when I bought my air ride kit. One of them, one of the air ride kits I bought. Maybe you have Anyways, to two to get. One. Yeah, it's an exclusive members club. Oh. So this is loud at midnight. <laughs> That's a weird. All right, uh, <laughs> Mazda, 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 Mazda Speed Three. Nice. Um, let's check out some details. We have no rubbing or scrubbing. The fenders are pulled and rolled. Just a good idea for any car that's lowered. And fender liners removed. Yep. Uh, so you can go low boy, low boy. Uh, while airing it out. No wheel spacers. Uh, the details are the wheels are ceramic coated, which if you didn't know. We offer that, which is a really neat feature. I don't think we talk about too Reddit, much. Reddit checkup. Yeah. You don't even have to touch it. Not to like plug super hard, but yeah, when you're checking out, we'll apply all the ceramic coat and you get your wheels already ceramic coat. You just spray the water on them, they're clean. It's yeah. really nice, especially on these wheels that are similar to this, where it's like a big mesh face that yeah. you just want to be like, I'm done cleaning this shit. That's what I, that's what I'm like when I do my mesh wheels. So, okay. Jeez. That's... Whoa, there's a plane in that one. Where? Rate the plane out of 10. Giles is actually a big plane guy. Okay. Read it. Uh, that's a seven. Okay, well, sorry guy. 37. Maybe, ah. <laughs> maybe you can get a better plane in the background next time. <laughs> um, so I like these. I am a front wheel drive hatchback kind of dude. That's, so I can't believe you, you let that go. Okay, big question. Coming in at 2021 here, that's okay. the year we're in, yeah. right? Rooftop carriers. I'm done with it. I've been done with it for a long time. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm over it. certain vehicles get passes, but I think the only way you pull off is if it's color matched and it's a big bodied car. I don't, True. Uh, I don't think it's bad on the Mazda, but it, I don't think it gives it any bonus points in this specific case. Um, the matte purple, it's all right, it's different. I think I'd like to see more of a gloss sure. to it personally, but the nighttime photos, it looks, yeah, it looks pretty really cool. Good. Um, it looks like your fitment is pretty dang good. Not too shabby. I like that. Uh, mesh wheels on this car look pretty dang good. Um, I think I'd like to see some more aero on it. Maybe, I mean, it looks like there's kind of a... Yeah, slightly, stuff. yeah. It looks like yeah, it's got a black lip. I guess I like that. Yeah. That looks good. Any carbon pieces? I know you can get like a carbon hood scoop and stuff for these, I think. Wait, wait does it have one? I might be just saying everything already, and then it's, it's already, already ahead gone. of you. Yeah. Big intercooler hanging out the front. Kind of neat. Yeah. What do you think of the car, Jules? I like it. I think it looks really good. Like I said, not a huge fan of the roof box to each their own. Like some people actually really do utilize those. Some people just use them for show, but you know, it is what it is. Like I said, I've, I've never been a huge fan of them. Um, even when like it really started to become a thing, I was like, yeah. okay, all right. Um, but no, I think overall the car looks really good. Ready to rate it? Yeah. Three, two, one, seven. seven. Oh, dang. Got you by the point. Jules uh, loves it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Hopping into the next Ooh. car, we have a 2008 Nissan 350Z, tree fitting, okay. uh, Nismo, Cosmos Racing XT 006Rs, 18 by 9.5 plus 10. Square setup yeah. on a 350? What? Yeah, you'll have it sometimes. Sam Hell, did I just see? <laughs> we have Iron Man Eye Moves, 245-40. I no, move. No, I move. No. You move? When I move, you move. <laughs> just, just like that. Like that. <laughs> All right. That was so corny. Airlift <laughs> performance suspension 
And this is Nisbro. Nisbro. Let's see Gotta if we got some details. It, it didn't have dot Z33 or anything. Yeah, that's, that's true. The first time. Um, rubbing, no rubbing or scrubbing, no modifications for trimming. Um, except for the Fly One RS2 fenders. And I know sometimes those do get a little wider. Like they'll they'll mm -hmm. come out just ever so slightly. Like it's like a couple. These cars don't even need to be wider. I They're know. already big booty Judy. I know. But this thing looks really good. Yeah, I like the contrast of the black and the red. Uh, one thing about Cosmos Racing that's cool is they have some of those finishes. The hyper colors. Yeah, yeah that look really good. good. This dude's riding it. Hey, all you that say you can't have air in the winter, look at this guy. He's airing out on the snow just for the peasants. Flexing. Um, is got that the, a Tome dog. It's a big Tome. It is. I, I like those. Those look good. I like the wing on here too. Uh, this is a good looking 350. This is a really nice setup because it's not like super aggressive in any way. Like it looks good. Got um, the bumper with the lights yeah. in it and the like, hoods it's with super the vents. Clean. I like it. It's very like it's very modest, but like like it's it, everything is like aftermarket. The bumpers are aftermarket. The fenders, like that wing, like it's all that. But it's not like I love those fenders. Are like the little vent cutouts and yeah. stuff. Oof. So he is running a square setup, which is a little different. I think there's some room there to get a little bit nicer fitment in the rear. Okay. Um, but you do get the convenience of having a square setup, so you can rotate the tires and stuff like that. Overall, this is a clean 350, and I, I enjoy it. Ready to read it? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Uh, three, two, one. Nine. Eight and a half. I was going to say nine, yeah. but I, I feel like there's just always room to do oh, stuff. Yeah, I, mean, no, I mean, nine's fair, too. I probably could have went with that. <laughs> All right. Next car, what do we got, Gels? Oh, sh We have a 1999 Nissan R34 Skyline. Jeez. Not GTR, oh, but still. Jeez. Super damn cool. On some Enki NT03s. Pulling on my heartstrings. I love those wheels when I had them. 18 by 9.5, plus 27. On some Ride Ands Roadster ro 2s 23540. On some coilovers for the suspension. We got four door R34. LOL.R34 is 1999 oh. Nissan Skyline. Um, DGR Super Sport coilovers, Japanese yeah, yeah. unknown adjustable tension rods. <laughs> fenders are rolled, only <laughs> rolled, only rolled the rear fenders. Front will be done soon. Um, and then we got some Nismo parts Bunch on there. Of them. Bunch uh, some of exhaust them. pieces, we got the side skirts, rear lip, uh, half Alcantara and leather steering wheel restitch, uh, upgraded fuel pump, and then Niz Tune with 290 wheel horsepower, 270 feet pump, foot pound of torque, 10 PSI Ooh. on stock injectors for Ooh. now. Ooh. So still looking pretty damn neat here. Hell yeah. What do you think of the color of the wheels? I love the color of the wheels. I almost went, I think they're, I, they might have like a couple options. I don't know if this is like a powder coated color, it but looks, I know they do have like a blue NTO3 that they offer. Oh, really? Yeah. It, to me, it looks like a Jamaican teal type of color, yeah. which I feel like was super popular around like 2012 ish yeah. era. And then it kind of died out. And now I'm starting to see it make a comeback. Yeah. I'm starting to see this more and more again. It's true. Um, I do like the contrast. I think the car looks good. Adding all the Nismo stuff was a great touch to it. And hey, it's okay to have an R34 and it's not a GTR yeah. because it's still probably fun as hell to drive and they look damn it's good. better than my R34. Yeah, I don't have any period. <laughs> Maybe, no, I have a Hot Wheel. That's as close as I yeah, got. I Probably as close them. as I'll get. Yeah. Anyways, yeah, I think this is super solid setup. I think this is something you can still like take to the track or go drive hard on some mm -hmm. back roads, but yeah. at the end of the day, still looks good and it's functional. Um, I would like to see the orange side marker deleted or like tinted or something sure. like that. I, I gotta do the same thing. I just picked up a Supra if you didn't know. Yeah. And it has the biggest, ugliest orange side markers. And it's like the first <laughs> thing it? I wanna do. Yeah. I guess I never They're did. on the front bumper. Oh, and no, they're, they're just not like noticed. this long. Anyways. I'm gonna make fun of them. You ready to read? No. Yeah. We're okay. Three, two, one, eight, eight and a half. Noise. Noise. All right, we're rolling into the last car of oh, the day. Kicking it back a little old school. Yeah, go for it. All right, 1989 Toyota Corolla DLX All Track on some work equipped O3s, 16 by 7.5, zero offset, Falcon ZX tire Z960, all seasons. 20545 on some BC racing coilover. So we got old school Corolla on some work equips. What more could you want? So this is Sprinter AE92's Toyota Corolla. This thing looks super cool. Any details? Uh yeah, let's see here. Uh fenders are rolled. Uh you got the ultra racing complete support. Um you got the DC sports exhaust and then some optional Toyota parts probably from let's like go. the factory and stuff. Corolla like power, baby. This thing is super cool. Yeah, I like it. I, I think like it's it like 
period correct. Yeah. You know? Very period correct. It's kind of like an OEM plus sort of build, which like, yeah. I think it's cool. It's something different. Yeah. And I feel like this would be a fun car to bomb around in. Absolutely. I would daily the f out of something I've like never that. seen a Corolla this old in this shape. No. It's, I see California plates, so. That's why. Dang it's, you it's really, and your good it's really roads. Crazy. Like you go out good there. Good weather. You go out there and it's like, you see like these like vans, like the things that we're used to like seeing just super rusted and clapped, like yeah. Grand Ams, Cavaliers. <laughs> it's like you go out there, they're <laughs> mint. Like yeah. the paint is so like, like even those cars that piece, you, you normally wouldn't holes. like, you wouldn't drool over those cars, <laughs> but we we go out there and we're like, that Cavalier yeah. was spotless. Yeah, <laughs> we're just like, we're like drooling. I'm like, you, we went to Vegas and that yeah. was literally what it was for SEMA. We we're like, oh my God, like there's not a spot of rust <laughs> on that <laughs> Ford probe. Like what the hell? <laughs> Anyways, I think the work equips, there literally isn't a better wheel for this. The no. fitment's like spot on for them too. It's just a good solid Corolla. Yeah. Ready to rate it? Good little Corolla. Yeah. Three, two, one, Seven. eight. I like it. It's cool. Well, that about wraps it up for reviewing your cars. If you want us to review it, because I want to review it, make sure you go over and add it at fitmanindustries.com forward slash add. And then once it's in there, we'll get to it. We got a big list, but we're running through them. Stay tuned for next week's episode. We'll probably be reviewing cars in person. We've been kind of switching back and yeah. forth uh, between outside and then checking out the gallery. So thank you guys for watching. One of my favorite episodes to do is reviewing you guys' cars because you have such dope builds. But wheels, tire, suspension, fitministries.com. I cried. Hey, you have to shoe today. What'd you do? Um, well, you've been doing a lot today. You've been punching drywall, uh, cried, chopping shoes. How's your arm doing? It hurts. Yeah. You'll have that.